Welcome to techv.com, your solution providers. This is Abhishek and today we're going to work on the tonal selection called channel selection. So what we're going to do is, as we know, every picture is made up of three colors in Photoshop. That is RGB, red, green and blue. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a, a select one color of it that gives us the most of the exposure in a picture. And... We're gonna make sure that our image is contrastive, like it has a balance between the subject that we want and it has a different contrast with the rest of the background to make a selection via channel via the channel panel. So you can see this is the channels panel. We're gonna have a quick selection of a picture. Okay, I think. Okay, yeah, this one. So, what we're going to do in this picture is, as you can see, the messy hair around here, which is pretty difficult to get selected. And you can see the RGB, red, green, and blue. Every picture is made up of these two colors. You can see it by selecting any two particular colors, and selecting all the three of them gives us our RGB. So... This is our original image. What we're going to do is we're going to find one particular color that gives us the most of the exposure. And that is definitely the blue one in here. So we're going to select all these hairs, all these messy hairs that is going to be difficult to select it by any other method. Because you can try it by selecting the quick selection tool and see that. Selecting these minute strands is pretty impossible with the quick selection tool because it's gonna capture all this background with it. So that's why what we do is we exaggerate a particular color from this channel panel and select all these messy hairs pretty easily which is impossible by this quick selection tool. So let's see uh, this is red this is green this is blue as you can see the blue color gives us the most of the exposure so we're gonna make a copy of it and we're gonna leave the rest of the two colors by dragging it uh, by dragging the blue color to this bottom panel of the new layer and that gives us our blue copy so what we're gonna do is we're gonna Take the levels, increase the levels of this picture from adjustments or we can just press, uh, press Ctrl L. And as you can see, this is the highlights, high tones, mid tones and low tones. This are the three parts of the image. And we're going to find a balance between all these by exaggerating the high tones. As you can see, the high tones, mid tones and low tones. This is from the blue copy layer that we are applying to. So let me just increase the high tones of this picture and that is going to put all the highlights to a more higher level as you can see and we're going to decrease the low tones which actually exaggerates the paler selection of the picture and make the background more visible. So as you can see that gives us a selects all the hairs and then you can just click OK to make the selection. Now, as you can see, this case is a pretty great selection of the strand hairs, but what we're going to do is we're going to include all this rest of the face by choosing black color and use the pen tool to fill in all these gaps that were created earlier. We're going to do this in order to make sure that all the portion inside the boundary of the picture gets selected just gonna paint black color all over the picture like this just be careful around the edges and we're gonna easily include the hairs at the top and all the rest of the picture you can see this is necessary because what Photoshop does here is it includes all the highlighted portion of the picture. So we're going to make sure that all the uh, part of the picture that we want to select, which is actually the face from the background, gets easily, oh, 
sorry gets easily selected by the photoshop and so it's important to make sure that all the portion that we want to get selected is in highlight so in this copy of blue we're going to make sure that all the portion is highlighted by painting everything with black okay can see you just have to be careful on the edges that gives us a pretty good selection it's actually the pale skin that gives us more to be selected because the skin is white and that's why it not to contrast with the rest of the picture if there was like a cloth or something so we would have automatically would have had it in the highlighted portion by the levels <coughs> so as you can see that selects most of the picture and now what we're going to do is we're going to have a selection of this in the rgb range because we want a selection of the outline of this person by pressing control by pressing control and clicking on this blue copy and you can see this selects all the messy here hairs and the rest of the picture for us and then we're going to click on the rgb to have this selection on the original image we actually made a copy of this blue layer in order to have a selection of it by pressing control and clicking it and then we can just have the original image as you can see and what else we can do is if we want the uh, just the hairs in the person and exclude the background we can do that by inverting our selection and that would be pressing control shift i so as you can see we have selected most delicate portions of the pictures which is the hair so you can see deleting all the rest of the background gives us our image you can just press delete and the background will be deleted so this is our selection the person and you can actually move it around by the hand tool and you can change the background or anything you want and all the hair as you can see at the top is easily selected by this so that was our channel tool in the tonal selection thanks for watching please like and subscribe